Hello everyone, this is Aki Magneto and um, it's nice seeing you again and today I shall be taking you through some simple basic te steps in um, designing logos using Microsoft Word. Now the reason why I choose to use Microsoft Word is because, um, what well, I can say because I'm addicted to it and um, I've mastered all the skills and techniques which you can also do the same. So what you need to do is just to have your Microsoft Word 3 and 7 installed. And if you have higher versions, you are okay. Now, one of the basic things I do say to my people before I take them classes on Microsoft Word is that uh, the white space pre provided for you, it's meant for you to express yourself in the way you want it. And there's one basic thing about a logo. A logo is a representation of what you can call. Normally, logo is defined as a symbol or other small design, which is adopted by an organization to identify its product. Example, you have Beat by Dre, you have Amazon, you have popular companies where that means whenever you see this symbol, you know that it is meant for a certain company or the other. Now, all designers the who are in the field of logo designs, they are not uh, aliens, they are also people like us. So all what they do is just creativity, which you can um, help master using Microsoft Word. Now, one of the major goals of logo is creativity and the idea to think and reuse what you already have. Right now, as I'm doing this live video, I have no pre-designs whatsoever. So I'm walking you through um, basic things that comes from my mind. So and what and what are those things that came from my mind? The first thing that came from my mind is just to use the simple circle. Now I'm going to use. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make use of many circles as order. Uh, all, all, all we are going to be doing right now is making use of circles, inscribing circles, and doing other stuff. Now let me take you through some simple basic things which you need to know. Now you want to familiar with your page layout. Now I would advise you to install this version of Microsoft Word because, uh, to me, it's one of their best suits ever released from the stables of Microsoft. Now. The year this software was released, it has so many things which um, we can call advanced to the 2003 version. So all we need to do is just to switch to this, change it to landscape. Now once you're done, you it will be okay for you to see your total page view. All we can do is just to double click here, this disappears. Now what you need to do is just go to insert. Now all we're going to be using is shapes. Now pick a circle draw a circle anyhow you want it you can skew this is a skew now as you have this this alone it's a logo on its own imagine we have just a circle and it means a lot how does this mean a lot now let's add some format into this now you can change this design to this check this change the color now you can put some inscription in it you can make this this good now with this, we have something. We have something with this. And what is this? Now, example, let's um, duplicate this. Let's copy and let's paste it. Now, let's assume we have something like this. Good. You can see we are forming something out of just circles. Now you can decide to just drag it down a little bit. Depends on how you want it. Now, looking at this logo, you can um, think of anything you can change the color change it to white or lighter color or you can remove the whole um, let's see remove no color no color good can you see now if you inscribe this let's say um, you, uh, you change the transparency with this you can see at least you have this now you can now change this to uh, a proper this or you put these at the front or the bring to front okay it's already in the front you can remove the light color from this no color good now with this we have something now this is a step to a logo okay now this is the first one this are just the basic things now you can draw another logo another circle sorry draw another circle it can be a perfect circle it can be like this now we can duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D on your computer, on your keyboard, sir. Now put this here, duplicate, put it here, 
duplicate I use ctrl D for duplication okay so kindly follow up with me now good all what you need to do you can make this black now it's total black now remember this is um let's make this white good now with this this is also a logo why it's a logo because it has made uh, there's a distinction between what we have before and what we have now and it's until when you have the rendered logo uh, the rendered version of what you've done so that's when you think it's a popular logo okay so let's move on let's just more circles now we are trying to create ideas of what we want to use now let's say we have logos like this um, let's say like this um, good. let's say we have something like this um, let's cute a little bit Okay, let's even make it a power circle. Good. So let's make it a perfect. Um, okay, let's use this. Now we can duplicate this. Put it here. Duplicate this. Put it here. Sorry, can duplicate this as well, make it more smaller. You can use your arrow, arrow button to make sure it's been drafted right. Now, for this, this is also a logo design. Now, this can be used by a cartoon company, or it can be used by, um, you know, any uh, company. Let's say. Uh, a caricature of what you can have of um, a real look or image representation you know this is just one of the circles now let's do one more before we go to the real logo design okay so um, shapes pick your circle always remember to pick your circles and um, now we can add um, let's say we can add um, let's use another circle good let's use a circle here good now you can make a format of this that's this no line color good I can let's send this to the back good now you can uh, make this uh, uh, let's say a deep deep blue okay and no color good this is also a design okay you can see this looks like a globe down that this can represent like an image icon or something okay now with this we can move forward we can copy the same and paste move okay uh, do some editing to this click here click on formats um, we can go through all these you have here they are for you the shapes types so you can choose anyone you want uh, we can choose to uh, add shadow effects if you want it adds um, some spices to your designs okay and also you have control over what you've done so far so you can choose to sorry you can choose to um, you can choose to uh, shift the shadow to the left hand side to the right hand side up see now instead of you duplicating such in 3d you can have something like this you can see we've made variations of uh, certain logos we have so um i think let me have another row of uh, circles which is used for logos okay so uh, right now let's uh, use more logos more circles to create logos now let's see this let's try this let's try something like this try this try this good now we have inscribed circles in form of a drum now once we have something like this it can be for tires you know for tires t y r e s okay so this is a simple logo we can see how many circles one two this is the first circle second third fourth and the fifth circle so we use five circles just to represent a what a logo for a company which you know by which can be used for anything so now this is another one now let's 
okay so the second part of the video so i just want to take you through more steps in which you need to use uh, your circuits now let's use the circuit and uh, let's try to be funny a little bit duplicate this put it here duplicate this put it here okay now put this at the back to be black good make this here let's say uh, no line color mm, let's say remove the line color here to set it no color good can you see something there's like a horn okay now what you need to do is just to make sure you expand this out sorry we can expand this out sorry the uh, logo the back no you have to be balanced it has to be balanced okay good now you can see we have it on on the second now this can be for anything it can be uh, a uh, you know uh, a frightening image or a frightening logo for a company that does um, toys you know that does things relating to um, stores like this uh, okay so now let's be more creative a little bit let's um, let's play with some element here okay now duplicate this duplicate 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 good now let's do some simple tricks here the sec the second to the last circle let's give it a little uh, bit of uh, design this can you see something the second that means from the top you can do the same thing to this element also and uh, good now you can change the color of this to blue you can change the light color to blue okay so as to rhyme with what you're doing okay so once you do that once you follow my steps you get everything don't worry i'm going to expand everything for you to see what i've done so far and i'll write down the elements for you okay now you can see what i've done right now it looks like a button okay for web designers or web developers you can learn from this as well okay if you are if you are researching into designing uh, more CSS buttons, I think you, this tutorial is meant for you, okay? Now, let's do one more before I go to other shapes in creativity, okay? So, um, okay, so uh, let's let's continue on what we've uh, started. So, um, I think um, the four basic things we need to consider in helping us to be creative is that uh, we've tried the vertical, We've tried this cute we've tried the um, horizontal so let's try to uh, let's try to uh, uh, manage something on um, on skewing okay so um, let's try something like this we've used image like this we've duplicated it so um, okay um, okay I'm trying to be creative a little bit skew it a little bit okay now duplicate try to skew again S sorry skew again put it here okay um, duplicate again try to skew okay oh, sorry it must be aligned okay now you can see which are our um, Cycles, we've done something now. Um, the beauty of a logo is that you use um, eye catchy colors. Now, so far, I've only used two colors I've used blue and brown. Black and white are the normal default colors which we already know about. Okay, so let's I try to add some um, a little thing here. No, no line color. No, let's make this this. Not color this should be a light color this color but a lighter version of the color okay now this the same thing yeah mm, no uh, let's make this little deep no color okay and this let's make it uh what let's see we choose a very light color no color for the line good 
now we have this now you can see from just um, zero zero knowledge about what we're about to do we're able to achieve all these uh, let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine no groups okay now this page is almost filled up okay so if you are trying to design a logo for a company who is into hearts which is who is into entertainment or into any you know um, thing name it I'm very sure you can have an idea okay something came to my mind right now so and I think we should um, try and do something about that okay now I saw a design today elsewhere sorry I have to bolden this so that I can see what I'm about to do okay good so I it was done like this I it was so amazing I saw it and it, I made a, a mess of myself by not snapping it so sorry I'll try to recreate the logo from my brain okay so this it has some like, black circles in it okay and the inside this black logo this black circle there was a um, white element of white sign in white duplicate 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 sorry duplicate move this inside duplicate it I saw 15 circles inside I counted but I forgot to snap it sorry for that so Let's count three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so inside of this, let's bring it back to normal. Okay, inside this, I think, um, yeah, now there was an inscribed, um. Now inside this we should uh, inscribe let's duplicate this and uh, this should be the uh, black okay um, okay black good sorry okay now this is black mm -hmm. I think this should be inside the logo inside a big circle because um, I saw it as an inscribed circle now for us to be sure of the size you can go to this place let's make this also is 0.98 okay so it's a perfect circle now so okay okay I have to uh, let's remove the line color of this no color okay good Let's make it a little transparent. Um, okay. Okay. Um, no, no, no. Okay. Let's move on with this. Um, the black was placed over, but a little bit smaller to this. Now. Good. Now I saw some um, uh, stars be used on the um, circle outside. So let's try to import some circles here inside stars. Good. So the stars, I think I saw a black star or something. Okay. The stars were just for each side, front, oh sorry, the top, the bottom, the left and right. Okay, so. Okay, so. Okay, now this is uh, another design, you know. We are trying to be creative, you know, and trying to bring out all what we know about uh, 
logo creation using Microsoft Word. Now, you, all these logos designed so far can help you to have a great idea of where right of worry about the design or what you have in mind to do. Now, example, let's say you want to use anyone any of this logo to um, make um, a nice concept. It's very simple. Now, there are two things which you need to understand. The first thing is to know how to group. Now, grouping, what does grouping do? The, the work of grouping is like to align all your um, objects to make sure they are compacted into one element. Okay, so let's see, make use of this first. Good. How do you group? You hold down your control key, you, pr you click on the object one after the other. Now, you right click on it, you choose group okay now you can copy this open a new blank document okay now paste I, I use ctrl V to paste now you can make it a little bit smaller and um, let's say you want to use uh, let's say um, uh, alpha link alpha link IT concept because this looks like uh, a database for designers who understand why so there's one thing about a logo whenever you have an object you can have um you know you can have um, um a written text either on the uh, object itself or beside the object okay so what you need to do you just need to like uh, make this to be by the side depends on how you want it okay so let's see how far link let me have to generate Okay, now you can change the font to something what you want. That will make it okay. Mm, okay, depends on what you want. So choose nicely. Now we have thousands of fonts you can get online free. Okay, so choose the one that works best for you. Now once you choose, okay, I want to use agency FB. Okay, I like that. It's very um, simple and um, you know straightforward okay now we have logo placement now what I mean by logo placement the way your alphabet aligns with your uh, you know object now this is on the same baseline this is in between the baseline and this is um, suffix this is the prefix okay so it depends on what you want now for this kind of logo I'll suggest we use something like this to be suspended okay you can Make this very big, okay. Can make this very big so as to like you know be a little bit up to the design, okay. You've done so far good. Now, with this, we've done a good logo for this. Now, you can change this color of the font to uh, let's say blue, okay, so as to match your designs. You can see now with this, if you want to judge my designs right now, you can see uh, logos. Which I've designed. The object I designed represent a database, means a tank where data are stored, and uh, it relates to the high T. Okay. Now you can be a little bit creative and write a motor below. Uh, anything on the computer. Ask Alpha Link. Alpha Link. Okay. Now. This to be this. Okay, now you have to change the font of this to something very small because you're trying to make um, you know, a motor. Now we can, um, okay, can we here? Can we here? Okay, so I think all we need to do is just to uh, make this one remove space. Okay, good. Now with this you have um, a logo for yourself. Good. So I think we've uh, achieved the step one of our logos. Okay. Now let's pick from our already designed uh, Okay, let's pick from our initial uh, designs. Let's pick this, okay? Or let's say this, this, um, okay?
okay let's pick these two and group it together okay you can move it together now okay now copy and take it to the next document okay paste it here good this looks like a globe so we can say um georgia georgia global concept good georgia global concept okay then you can say we make we make the word go round you can see this is very simple and a nice design concept okay so this is um just part of the little thing we can do with logo now let's go back and pick up uh, some creative ones we've done so far also now we can create um, work with these as well these 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 and then these these okay the small circles we have to be very careful okay let's do all this for now group okay um, okay i think let's work with these um, okay let's work with these okay group them good copy okay now let's go to this place so paste it here good now i think what we can do right here is uh, ungroup them for now since we are maintaining blue let's change this color to uh, blue here um, let's change it from black to blue as well so as to make good emphasis um, let's make this little bit bigger okay Let's leave it like that, okay. I'm using Ctrl Z for undoing what we've done. Mm, let's say a little bit of this. No, this, let's use a dish, okay. There's a little variation. Um, let's use this, okay. Now, okay, and I use uh, something like this. Okay, now you can see we've made a simple difference here. Now you need to group everything. Sorry, uh, group it. Okay. I'm sure true. Just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, add it here. Okay. Now we can. Um, sorry. You can. Let's say. Um, Jordan, the tires. Okay. Now we can make it more bold. Um, you know. Yeah. Now you can see your the best. Well, let's say long lasting times. Okay. 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 Depends on how you want it. Sorry. Okay. So, sorry, minor correct and correct. So, now with this, we've worked with three of the logos. Sorry for this iTunes something. I need to put a stop to the iTunes.